Here's a short tutorial on how to use Avanti's remote control once your account has been provisioned and the Avanti remote control management console pushed to your machine. We'll find it under start. Avanti, Avanti management console. You'll have to agree to the terms and then enter your credentials as outlined here. Moving forward, it's going to be UH backslash your ID and your domain password. The Avanti core server name is NWPUHIST LDESK2. You only have to enter that information once. It will be cached for the next time you launch the console. You will be prompted, however, to consent each and every time. All remote control sessions and anything you do in the console is logged and auditable. Select yes, you'll be authenticated to the database and the app. You'll be presented with the remote console. Based on permissions, it'll be a little less busy than this and more something like this. So to remote control devices, you're gonna click on all devices to search and remote control. So click on all devices, the machine you wanna find from the customer. In this case, I'll use mine as a demo. I'm gonna highlight the device You'll see three icons. You should see three icons appear. <clears throat> the binoculars mean that there is an agent visible on this machine to the console. The five in the little shield there is HTML5, and the remote control is remote control. If that doesn't exist, you will not be able to remote control a device. Please bring it to my attention and I will, I will correct it. Basically, these remote control sessions work the same way, whether the user is on site or remote. If you're doing remote, you're going through the access gateway to remote control. If you're on site, obviously you're using the on site network. So remote control, you're gonna right click, click on remote control. At this point, the user will be prompted for permissions and has up to 30 seconds to accept or deny. I will accept on this machine. You'll be presented with my screen and you will be <clears throat> able to do anything you would as with any other remote control utility. So you can start a chat session you can transfer files, you can execute files as the user. You can send control keystrokes to the machine. This is a very helpful tool, a multi-monitor mode. So if I had multi-monitors on that device, you can pick one or the other or both. Very useful if multi-monitors are used and they can see everything you're doing and they're trying to point something out to you. And when you see both monitors, obviously on one screen, it's a little smaller and harder to see what you're looking at. So there you can just select, you know, uh, that, that single monitor and toggle between them as well. To end the session, you're gonna click disconnect up here, close. And then you're gonna wanna close this out as well. All the information that you see down here, the connection messages are also logged. Who logged in, time stamped, what machines, IP addresses, so on and so forth. Click the X there and you're back to your console where you can search for another machine. If you need any assistance, you may reach out to me via an email at C-I-N-E-L-L-G-E at uhnj.org or you can contact me via phone. 973-972-1830. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.